Hi, my name is Lee. Welcome to Alpha Web Design. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up billing for your Laravel Shopify app. And it's pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't take that long. And um, the app that I'm using here that I'm working with right now is just a basic, very basic app. Um, it's not supposed to look very good. It's just, you know, just to show you how it's done. If you want to know how to set up or how to create your own Shopify app with Laravel, you can click somewhere around here. I will put the link into the information box. And um, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am at my VS Code. Um, I have already set up Laravel. I have already installed this Laravel package for Shopify. And um, so what I want to do is I want to open my config file, Shopify app config. And I can see here that I have this billing enabled um, property right here. And I have Shopify billing enabled and it's by default set to false. Also, the freemium enabled is also by default set to false. So I have uh, two options. Actually, I could either type in true right here or I could copy this and paste it into my .env file, which I will do right now because that's what it was made for. So I will just go here say Shopify billing enabled and give it a one, which will resolve to true. Okay, so I have now set up or I have now enabled billing for my Shopify app. Now that we got that set up, we can create a plan into our database, we could either um, create the insert statement by ourselves, or we could just go to the documentation of OCZ and copy the statement from here. Say copy and um, go back to our SQL Pro. And we will have to choose the right database. Go to plans and now we can insert a query. We can select it and then run the selection. So now it should have inserted uh, the plans. If we go to content and refresh, we will see right here that um, it has set up a demo plan. Let me change the ID to one and um, we will see we, we have a column called test which is currently set to false. Let me just turn it to true because it's a test plan as of now. And later on, if you push your app to the uh, production, you will have to set this to zero. Um, but for now, this will be a test billing app. Okay, uh, we have that set up. Now let us go back to VS Code. And here I will have to open my web.php because I will have to edit my middleware. Because right now it just says that in order to um, exit or enter this um, this route right here, I will have to be verified by Shopify. But now I will also have to add um, that it should be billable. All right, save it. And that is already it. Basically, I will have to go back to my Shopify dashboard. Go here and install my app. Okay, so here you can see that it worked because um, after the install, we haven't seen uh, this page right here before. So you can see that uh, we have our test plan, we have the amount that we want to charge and yeah, everything that we set up in a database.
So now I have to approve subscription in order to see my app. So that is everything that your customers will see as well. And there you go. So now you have added the billing to your to your app. But especially if you're in production or if you're uh, developing your app, you might uh, from time to time say PHP artisan uh, migrate fresh and just, you know, refresh your database. And if you do that and go back to your plan and refresh it, then you will see that you would have to go back to your query and do this again and run the selection. Okay, that's not, I mean, that's not that bad, but we could also uh, do that a little bit quicker so you don't have to go here and always remember to insert everything again. So we could, um, install or we could create a database seed so that every time you refresh that your uh, table will be seeded with some information that you have pre provided before so let's just quickly do that um, we can create a, a plan seeder so let me just say php artisan make Cedar and call it plan cedar. So now it has created a plan cedar for me. I have already prepared one. Um, I will, I could put it in the description as well. So you should, can just copy and paste it, or you could just do it yourself, however you want. All right, so we have everything here. Um, let me just import everything. If you're wondering what this is right here, um, I was just um, asking in which environment I uh, the app is running. So if uh, I am running the app locally, that means that it's a test environment. So I will put, um, this test column here to true and if it's in a production environment i will put it to false so that would always work now i would have to go to the database seeder and tell it to always run my plan seeder and then you will see that it says database seeding completed successfully so if you not go now to your uh plans table and refresh you will see that even though we just freshly migrated the, the database um, it still has um, this entry right here so you don't have to always go to the query and run the selection and do all that unnecessary stuff all right so that was a very quick video today i hope you liked it and i hope it helped if it did then please subscribe to the channel and click the like and that'll do it for me bye bye